Hey guys, it's Hum Day and it's KJM. Um, so yesterday I was so excited to do like, uh, maybe it was like seven minutes video on what I'm learning about lash strips. And so I did a TikTok, put it in my draft, went about my day. And then later on, maybe in the afternoon when I had some time to kind of start watching it before I post it, I realized that Gumbo, the lipstick I'm wearing this week from the crayon case, was all over my teeth. Within like 30 seconds, I noticed it. And I can't believe that I filmed a whole video and didn't notice that it was like on my teeth. So there was no way I could post that. So I was like, I'm gonna have to try this last strips, you know, video. Cause um, some of you wrote me on Monday when I posted my first time experience trying to learn how to do lash strips. Now. I'm going to preface this by saying I'm not an expert and I definitely am probably not doing the most amazing job when you're first starting off doing it. I've only watched like maybe three YouTube, three or four YouTube tutorials, but it's already made me feel better compared to before when I wasn't trying to do it. So if it's, it's just like wig installs, if you really feel like you want to try something different and you want to learn a new skill for yourself just to like glam yourself up on the fly. I would not discourage you from trying just two things. Obviously with the um, wig installs, stay away from your hairline. If you stay away from your hairline and you are doing it a little bit before your hairline, then you can't go wrong even if you mess it up because at least you're not ripping your own hair out. That's how I feel about that. Now with the lash strips, I'm super nervous to get very close with the liner the lash glue liner um, to my eyes. So if I got really close, y'all will see like I'm not as close as I need to be. But I decided to do something different yesterday morning. So you guys, I get these lashes. I think this came from one of the Love Story wigs. And this came from like another wig. Oh wait, hold on. I don't know if y'all can see that. Uh -huh. So it's like... I don't think that, I think because it's reflective, you're not going to be able to see it good. So, you know, I'm just using whatever lashes that I've stacked up on over the years from buying wigs. And I think mostly my synthetic wigs will send me lashes. Like a lot of the synthetic wigs I buy on, on Amazon. I never thought I would need them, but we're in 2023 and it's the year of what the fuck. I never thought these things would happen to me. It's the year of, oh, everything is kicking my ass. It's the year of I have to reinvent myself. And right now I am that baddie on a budget. So I decided that with these two lash companies, it was two different sets. I was gonna try to do like a voluminous look, um, like a mega volume look because I do have big eyes like my Auntie Mar. Shout out to Auntie Mar. She got some big, beautiful eyes on my daddy's side. So I just pulled out two new pairs. So not the pair that I had installed on Sunday. I took that out, um, you know, washed my face, cleaned off the glue. And then the next morning I started fresh. So first I started off with these. Now the problem with these is they already had some sort of sticky substance on it. I guess it's for people that don't have lash glue. So I don't recommend learning or starting to learn how to use lash strips with, um, lashes that already have stickies on it because then you can't play with the placement of the eye and so I struggled and unfortunately I learned when I tried to put this one on top of it to give it more volume that this company also does the same thing with the stickies so the first pair that I tried on Sunday did not have stickies so I was able to like play with the placement before I lay it down and kind of figure out where I want it on my eyes. That was more of like a natural look. Now I was trying to do more. So I'm going to get in a little bit closer. But I don't want y'all to see like what a train wreck this could be if you were like. And if you're looking this close into my eyes. And it's not to see how I did my lashes. Then you must be the love of my life. Because I don't know why you're getting this close. But I kind of just like want to show you guys. So it's like not perfect. It's not perfect at all. Up close it probably looks like a train wreck. But. From far away and from when I take pictures, it's actually making me feel great. And I hope I didn't get so close that I'm not going to want to post this. But here's the issue. Since they both 
had stickies on them and I had issues with placement. I started off using the Kisses Lash Glue Liner. That's how I started off and I got it in black. I will always get these in black because I'm the type of girly that I want drama even going to the supermarket. So I'm never gonna do like the clear, like kind of natural look. I just want a little bit. I'm always gonna want that drama. So I got everything in black, which I was happy I did. Because when I try to double up on the lashes, when I try, and maybe next time what I need to do is actually double up on them before I put it on my eyes and then just place the whole set on my eyes. Maybe that's where I went wrong. If you've done this and you have some tips, put it in the comments. Um, cause I'm just trying started off with this, but when I put the second set in on top to give it more volume, um, <laughs> like the right eye this time was giving me trouble and it like wouldn't lay, it wouldn't lay on top of the other one. And it just looked like it looked crazy. So I ended up having to use kisses adhesive glue. Um, and I also got this in black. So I kind of used it like it was a liner and then use my like tweezers to kind of like push it in so that they merge together. Like I said, it's my first try. This is not a, well, second try. And this is not like a professional look type of thing, but I'm the type of girl, like, even if I'm around the house and I'm not going anywhere, I like to look and feel good. I just like to feel good in my skin. And I was starting to not feel good in my skin and I have so much going on behind the scenes that I'm like, you know you have to help yourself out so I don't care if it's your favorite perfume your favorite shirt your favorite dress um your favorite favorite pair of thigh high boots like whatever you need to do especially in this winter season that we're that's upcoming to make yourself feel good and feel special you're gonna do that you are gonna do that that's what you need to do. So I just want to show you guys like that I actually would recommend when you're learning to put on your lash strips, I would get both a lash liner glue and both of these are from Kiss once again. And I would get a um, glue adhesive um, because you literally may need to use both and that's what happened with me. So this is not like a perfect thing. I can't do tutorials yet. I'm just kind of doing what feels right to me. But yesterday I took some like beautiful pictures and I was super happy with it. And like, yeah, the eyes are not exactly matching. They're not exactly matching. And they're probably looking like crazy when you get close. But like I said, if you're getting this close to me, you must be my soulmate, my husband, my forever person. Um, and I'm in the process of learning. And for those of you who have been with me since 2020, when I first started off with my wig installs, baby, we went through having the wigs here to having the wigs back here. Like I struggled and I finally got into a place. I think summer 2022 is when I finally got into a place where like they don't look that crazy. Um, and I'm no professional. I just do it for myself. I learn how to hook myself up because I am the type of woman that I like to, I love color. And that is one thing the pandemic has allowed me to embrace since I'm at home is to play on color. And I love color. And I love changing my hairstyles like every two to three days. Every two to three days. So until the good Lord blesses me with that quan to like um, be able to get my hair done every two to three days. Um, you know, by somebody who knows how to cater to someone that's like 100% natural and, um, you know, wants to protect her natural hair at that. Um, until I can do all that, um, yeah, I'm just, you know, I'm gonna be doing a little thing now. Don't be, this wig looks a little crazy because I got a little too crazy with the side of the tint spray. I really did. But given the colors, I feel like it can still work for me. And since I'm doing this gumbo, this like beautiful brown um this week I feel like I can make all of this work so yeah it's KJM I'm finally I don't know if I left anything out from the original video where I had lipstick on my teeth but like I'm not really into perfection but I'm definitely not dropping a video where like purposely where my everything's got you know like lipstick on it so this gumbo really stays and it stayed all day too shout out to the crayon case all right you guys tell me if you're trying lash strips tell me what your experiences have been like it's kjm it's hump day and i'm out be kind to yourselves